Hey everyone, we will be taking part in the National Day of Action Against Bullying and Violence on Friday the 19th of March. This is a national program that takes place across multiple schools within Australia. As a part of this day, we will be saying bullying, no way, as we are putting our bullying prevention initiatives in the spotlight and calling our school community to stand with us. At our school, we encourage students to take hold of the issue and talk about what works, which is why we are de dedicating a whole week to this important day. Let's support our students to drive powerful messages and take action to prevent bullying. If you are being bullied or you see bullying happening, doing something or speaking out can help prevent further harm. If you are bullying others, take that first step by stopping and getting some help. If bullying isn't challenged, it can create an environment where bullying is accepted and where everyone feels powerless to stop it. Bullying of any form or for any reason can have long-term effects on those involved, including bystanders. Bullying involves misusing any power that a person has to harm someone else and might involve repeatedly physically hurting someone, keeping someone out of a group, online or in person, saying mean or humiliating things or spreading rumours or lies, Sending nasty messages or inappropriate images online. Tagging inappropriate or unflattering images online. Have you seen bullying happening but you didn't know how to stop it? When someone you know is being bullied, it can be really, really upsetting. Being a bystander can have just as large of an impact as the bullying itself. By being silent, you're approving of this behaviour and playing part in the effect the bullying has on the individual. You can take action to stop bullying happening. It's important to do something because ignoring it gives silent approval. A key initiative ACK have been taking to prevent bullying and resolve issues regarding bullying and violence is through restorative practices. Restorative practice is a strategy that seeks to repair relationships that have been damaged, including those damaged through bullying. It does this by bringing about a sense of remorse and restorative action on the part of the offender and forgiveness by the victim. Restorative practices do not need to be in the company of a teacher or guardian, but can be as simple as three steps. By following the P3P3F3 strategy, you too can participate in restorative practices to repair relationships. Thank you, Kathy, and thank you, Christopher, for being here today. Can we just start this off in the right way? Kathy, can you tie up your hair, please? <sighs> Alrighty, good. So can you just ask why are we all here today? The first P3 involves three minutes of talking about the past. What happened during the situation and how did you feel at the time? Make sure to only spend three minutes discussing each step and ensure everyone has a turn to speak. She calls me names. I did not call you names. You did? Well, it's not my fault that I don't like your hair. And by the way, he pushed me. Okay, she pushed me back. <laughs> so, how did being pushed make you feel? The second P3 focuses on the present. Take three minutes to share how you are feeling right now and how others may be feeling. Make sure to share how the incident has made you feel as this can be crucial to restoring relationships. Well, I don't want to have to walk around the yard or go to class and have to worry about him pushing me or touching me. He has no right to touch me. And how did being called names make you feel? Well, upset. She has no right to call me names. I wouldn't have pushed her if she didn't call me names. So can we appreciate that both of these made each other feel unsafe? Yeah, I guess. So how are we going to repair this? And finally, F3. Spend three minutes discussing the future, what you can do about the situation. Try to focus on using sentences like, I am going to, instead of, she needs to to stray from placing blame on others and focus on how you can better the situation. Um, well, I could not call you names, I guess. And what could, we, what could you do? Tell a teacher if someone's calling you names. So, what are we agreed upon here? I won't call in names anymore. And I'll tell teachers instead of pushing people and try to fix my own problem. So can we end this off the right way and just apologise to each other, please? Sorry, Christopher. Sorry I pushed you. Remember to check in on your friends this week and make sure you're acting in a kind and caring manner. 
a simple how are you feeling or are you okay maybe the extra support that someone needs don't forget as well that teachers are always open to talking find a trusted teacher or visit the team down at the wellbeing center if you are a friend and need a little extra support you have a right to feel safe and be safe being bullied can make you feel miserable and powerless but things can change tell a teacher parent or another adult or friend who can help you remember the sooner you report the bullying and take action the sooner things can change you're not alone and things like this are not okay